Hello, it is Fabor, and it is late today, merely because I completely forgot to uh, to record my my daily updates, which, in hindsight, is a bit of a blessing because I realized I forgot something on uh, on Scobby's dress. Just a nice little, just some wrinkles down there. Maybe wrinkles. <laughs> I'm still very sick. I was actually getting ready for bed when I remembered to do this. Got out of the showers, like, yeah, you know it would be great? You know, <clears throat> some sleep? Because I was up till like 4 o'clock in the morning last night. Not my fault, by the way. Just, uh, just couldn't sleep for the life of me. Insomniac. Can you believe it? Oh, well. This is my situation now, and I guess I should be happy for it. Because... I get to continue drawing. Scarvy. Llewellyn. I wonder if anybody has caught on that I named her Llewellyn Welsh because she's a dragon. Don't tell anybody, though. It's a secret between you and I. It's because the flag of Wales is that of a dragon. And when I was learning Welsh, when I was learning Welsh on uh, Duolingo, uh, one of the first words to Tommy was drag, drag, which is dragon. But, uh, yes, this is now Scavi. So she went from this to this. That's a nice transformation there. Put her in a nice dress, the lace that I wanted last time. Nice, uh, nice, uh, fucking things. Okay. For a second, that looked a bit weird there, and then I remembered it's part of the dress on her body. Oh, I got her bow tie, her ring of spell storing, her gauntlets of archery, and her spell focus that was made for her, and just an armband for decoration. Uh, she doesn't wear anything on her head because she likes her hair. Uh, as far as I never imagined her with earrings, so I didn't put anything on. But this is this is her. This is my progress so far today. Oh, I should point out that she has this pin on her chest, right there, right, right there. That is her family seal, the mountain tops. Her family emblem is basically just. Basically just that. Some snowy mountains. Made it quite simple. Oh yeah, 68 layers by the way. <laughs> oh, tomorrow is when I get to start coloring her in. Get to color in her hands, her dresses, her cute little bow, her other bows. She likes bows. And so do I. I'm uh, I'm proud of what I did, but with the color lined in, I need to now decide what type of what type of brush I want to use because yeah, because I'm trying to imagine it a lot like I did before, where where it was a single where it was a single like very thick line. And the reason I want to do that again is because then I can go in with the colors underneath without worrying about uh, without uh, colors overlapping because they overlap under the lines, so they won't be visible. But I guess one thing I could do for now is actually choose the colors I want to use for her outfit at very least. 
one thing I wanted to do for her dress was make it an icy blue. Yeah, I should probably. Yeah, make it a nice icy blue for her for the primary dress. For her. Hmm. Yeah, the gloves of archery are just uh are just like uh tan. So for the gloves. The ring of spell storing would be a a nice goldish color. Hmm. Her bow. What color should I make her bows? Oh yeah, I should probably get her uh she has I'm trying to remember what color her uh her things in there. I think they're just diamonds, so like like that. It'd be brighter than that. However, I will keep this for her scales. I guess her scales are silver. There we go. A bit of an off-white there. God, I like. I want the bow to be a color other than black because black is a very common color. I don't think she'd wear dark colors. She likes to be showy. Hence the leg slit. Especially how high up that slit is. I mean, look look how close it is to that line. Yep. I see. Now, here's something I've never been good at. Skin color. Is this, is this skin colored? That's skin colored, isn't it? Like a nice pale, like a nice, uh, pale, uh, person. Look at that one. Nice pale skin. Her eyes. Her eyes would have turned into this type of blue. And her hair is platinum blonde, which is going to be weird. Is that platinum blonde? No, that's not. Is that platinum blonde? I don't know. I like to point out my difficulty in this. Um, you see where that little icon is down there? Uh, my pin is a few centimeters to the left. So it's just a bit off center. J just enough to be a little bit annoying. Blonde's more yellow, isn't it? It's really close to her skin color. I guess I can make her skin color like a little bit, a little bit darker. That's not skin colored at all. That's the same goddamn thing.
you know what? I'll figure it out. So, hair, skin, clothing, items. Still need to decide what color I want to do the bow. Like my primary instinct is to do red. But, um... Yeah, I, but, uh, you know. I'm not sure how well red and blue will go together. I mean, they're opposites, so they do complement each other quite well if you get the right one. Ooh, actually, yeah, no purple. Like a dark purple for the bow. Maybe, maybe something that's a bit brighter. Maybe violet? Maybe watercolor purple? Watercolor, watercolor purple works. So that'll be for her bows. I think the last thing I need I think this would be a better better blue for the dress because the other one's more aqua this is very ice colored <laughs> and the last thing I need is red for the for the inside of the uh the scale. Because it has been acquired from a red dragon. And the outside is silver like her scales. I forgot about lip color. Yeesh. A pretty in pink. Sort of faded pink. The reason for the faded pink is because it's sort of the same color as my lips. I don't choose my lip color. They're just naturally pink. That will be a good test subject thing. I wonder, do I have that... Do I have that goddamn skin color reference sheet that you can just use the uh, dye on? Because that, that really helped me out here. Skin color palette. Huh. Oh, sorry. Almost belched in your ear again. Or sneezed. So, I looked it up. There's a lot of good ones. But I can't find the one that I used to use. Which is not on this computer. Because I... Switch computers since I downloaded it. So, let's see about. Let's just see about this one. I want to save it as specifically a sketchbook, but whatever. Not a TDIF? Or TIFF? Why are you being weird? Oh, you see it as a normal JPEG? Alright, so here's what I found. And 
where's my pen? There's this. Oh, right. Right. They don't have to just have a copy and paste shit. You literally gotta make it weird. Okay, so I just have to choose what skin color I think would suit her. I think something along this. Why are you not? Ah. I see. Hmm. It'd be a bit darker seeing as she has been out a lot. Maybe got maybe got herself a slight tan. And then she can use something just a bit darker than that for a natural lip color. I'm sure the hard part of that is just make it easy for me. Something along that lines. Okay, I like it. So this video took a little bit longer than I thought because I had to do some prep for tomorrow. But hey, look at that! All my all my color outlines are chosen. So if this works like before. What I should be able to do is just be like, bam, bam, dress color, and then be like, okay, now for the inside of the dress, it's a little bit darker, bam, darker, and have everything work out just fine. Obviously, with a bit more detail, but, you know, whatever. Anyway, uh, this has been Fable. Sorry for wasting your time today, but... ADD. Makes with insomnia. Makes with a whole bunch of other shit. Makes me very tired. Makes me very rambly. And with that, I will bid you adieu. See you all tomorrow.